guys, good morning, it's Mrs. Austin. I wanna show you a really cool resource we have that you can access eBooks from completely free at home. You don't need a username or password or anything. And the really cool thing about it is it comes from this company right here, Junior Library Guild. And Junior Library Guild is actually a company where I buy books from them for the library. And so a lot of the print books that we have in our library, Owens Crossroads Elementary, come from Junior Library Guild. But they also have eBooks. And a really cool thing is that right now they've made them available to kids with no passwords needed, no usernames or anything like that. So here's how we get to it. You can see that this little screen keeps flopping back and forth between all these things. You wanna find the screen that says G JLG at home, Junior Library Guild at home. And you click on make yourself at home. And it's gonna take you in. Now you've got several different streams here of eBooks. If you've got older brothers and sisters, they might like the middle school or high school stream, but most of my students are gonna want the elementary stream because we are elementary school students right there. So it's going to load it here in a minute, and you can see you've got all kinds of different books. This one is going to be a snicker of magic. This is going to be a chapter book for a little my older kids. You've got some books that are younger. We got nonfiction in here. We have biographies. We've got classics. Anne of Green Gable. I know a lot of you like to read about dogs and cats, so you've got some of those in there. Here's another really cool biography, Burn. It's about Michael Faraday's candle. City 123, it's got great photographs in there. All kinds of really amazing books. Um, you've even got graphic novels. We're gonna come visit Fluffy Strikes Back in another video today. But one thing I wanted to show you is I wanna show you what it looks like when you read one of these books. We're gonna look at I Want a Bedtime Story. You go in here, you click Read, and it's gonna pop open and it's gonna be just like you were reading the book at home, okay? I want a bedtime story, a little princess story. We open it up. You can even see the cover, like the inside covers of the book. And there it is. So you can actually go through and flip through the pages and you can read it just like you were reading a book that you checked out from the library. And that's pretty cool. All right, we go back to this page here and let me see. Oh, it's not going to let us go back. We have to go back this way. Y'all get to see me learn <laughs> on the fly here. One of the things I did want to show you, though, is that some of these, most of them say read, and that will be your eBooks. Some of them are audiobooks, like this one right here. If we cl click play on it and come over here and click play again, you're going to hear the actual audiobook, which is where someone else is reading the book for you, kind of like I do with Ivan, the one and only Ivan. Scholastic Audio presents A Snicker of Magic. By Natalie Lloyd. And you can see that it's got lots of chapters in there, so that's probably for like my fourth and fifth graders, right? I mean, in fact, I think if we go back here, oh, I was hoping it would tell us AR levels and stuff like that, but I don't think it does. All right, but it does tell you that's a really good book because it's got a five star review. So that is how you use Junior Library Guild. And um, the next video I'm going to make is us, we're going to read one of these books in here. It's one of my favorite books. Fluffy Strikes Back. It's a graphic novel, and it's kind of really funny. It's got some potty humor in it, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So stay tuned in the next video of Fluffy Strikes Back.